do you tell if someone really is busy, has a lot going on, maybe has something going on in their life, and they can't talk about it, and they still want to get together with you, they still want to be your friend, but they just, they just can't right now, but they don't want to tell you why. Or they really don't want to see you anymore, and they're using that as an excuse. How do you tell the difference? All right, someone who genuinely wants to be your friend will still get back to you right away when you contact them. They will still send you a quick text or an email, or they'll call you, or they'll approach you in the hall, wherever this is that you know them from work or school. But if somebody is just doesn't want to be your friend anymore, and you keep asking them, and they're like, oh, well, yeah, um, I can't. I, I, I got something going on, and, and they're him hauling around. And then you see them on social media doing something with other people. Of course, that's a sure indication. And then you ask yourself, well, why? What is it about me? Why don't they want to get together? I know I've addressed this in other, ish, in other videos, but a lot of times it has more to do with them than you and their own insecurities. Again, jealousy is an issue, and there's something about you. I mean, it's probably not a coincidence that you suddenly got this promotion, or you did great in some class. And they're in the same class or they work at the same office and you got the promotion. I mean, that's not a, and then all of a sudden they're distancing themselves. It's not a coincidence. I mean, you remind them of what you have and they don't. That's one, that's one reason. And then also people who are insecure, they have to hang on to their group of friends and maybe you're not in that group of friends. And so, and they don't want to bring you into that group of friends because again, it could be jealousy. You could be the life of the party. You could be more attractive than they are and attract the girls or the guys that they, they want to be talking to. And instead those people are talking to you and they could be afraid of that. So they don't want to bring you in the group. They're keeping you on the outskirts. And again, you'll see them on social media with their group. And yet, it's like you're their friend, but you're not really because they don't include you in anything. And then they only call you maybe when they need something. They have nothing better to do. Oh, I'll meet this person for coffee. I've got a, an hour to kill. So you end up being a second banana. You're a friend, but you're not really a friend. And, and I'm not saying that you need to drop this kind of a person, but you know you could be the same way. I got nothing else to do. I'll call him up. Same sort of thing. They're more of an acquaintance. They're a shallow friendship. It's not someone who really has your back. So again, how do you tell? Because say someone's just really busy. They've got this huge project at work. They've got a final in their graduate in graduate school, whatever, and you. You know, you understand that, but you still don't know for sure because last time this happened, they still got together with you. Well, maybe this particular project is especially important. Maybe they feel like they're going to lose their job. They're going to flunk out of school. And so they can't spend a minute with you. And so you're barely hearing from them. You know what? If you know this is going on, give it time. And, and try to contact this person every once in a while. Don't be a pain. Just every few weeks, text, hey, just checking in. How are you doing? You know, that's it. Don't make it this long conversation. Don't expect them to get back to you right away with some long explanation as to what's going on. Don't give them an ultimatum. Well, if you are really my friend, you'd be here for me right now. This isn't the time or the place to do. Give them time. And then, you know, after all that's over and they still are blowing you off and they still barely respond, you know, two words to your text or, or three days later 
or they don't get back to you at all. Or like they, I said, they him haw around, well, I'm not sure, maybe. And they really are blowing you off. And there's nothing you can do about it, except to know that things do change. Situations do change. Life changes. And maybe they're not in a situation right now where you fit into their life. And maybe down the road that it, you will. But then at that point, you've got to ask yourself, nah, I'm, I've moved on. Do I really want that friend? I don't know. It's a question. Mm -hmm.